Hi, Doug Tillman from the Customer Technical Education Center in Cincinnati. In this CFM LEAP Maintenance Minute, we are going to cover the procedure for removal and reinstallation of the main engine fuel filter. As with all procedures, we want to uh, be sure to consult and follow the uh, proper AMM procedure. Um, I've taken the liberty of cutting the safety wire and removing the drain plug to drain any excess fuel that might be left in the filter bowl. I have removed the old packing from the drain plug and installed the new packing properly and lubricated it with the uh, Vaseline. So we're going to go ahead and install that drain plug again. And at this time we're going to go ahead and torque the drain plug to the specified AMM torque value. Okay, now the drain plug is properly torqued. We are not going to safety wire it at this point. Uh, the drain plug gets safety wired to the wrenching flat that is part of the filter bowl and we're going to need that wrenching flat to remove and install the filter bowl. Now the next uh, step in the procedure is we want to go ahead and release the ratchet lock. Release it, pull it down, and snap it back up. Uh, it will uh, lock in an open position. Now we want to make sure that we do that. If we try to remove the filter bowl without removing the lever latch, uh, it will break off. Now that we have that removed, we can go ahead and remove the filter bowl, and you probably We'll not be able to do this by hand, so it is acceptable for the AMM to use a wrench on the wrenching flats provided on the bottom of the filter bowl. All right, with the filter bowl removed, we can go ahead and remove the cartridge. This is a replaceable cartridge. Uh, we don't reuse these, so we'll go ahead and throw this away after we inspect it and go ahead and install a new cartridge. Okay, with our filter cartridge removed, we now need to remove the O-ring and the two Teflon backup rings that are in the housing of the fuel filter. So very carefully, we can remove those from the housing, being very careful not to damage the housing. So we have uh, two O-rings for the filter element. We're going to lubricate those per the AMM with uh, white petroleum jelly. So get those good and lubricated. O-ring for the other side. And take a look and verify that we've got those installed properly in their grooves. So now we have an O-ring and the two backup rings for the filter housing. Now these are going to go up inside the filter housing, um, but before we do that we want to go ahead and make sure that these are lubricated with uh, white petroleum lube as well. And we'll do the backup rings also. Now the O-rings and the backup rings are both uh, one-time use only, so when we take this assembly apart we need to ensure that we are using new packings and backup rings. All right, so we're going to assemble the, uh, the filter assembly. Uh, we have our new O-ring and our two new Teflon rings uh, that we need to go ahead and install in the housing. So we will first install the upper backup ring. Then we can install the packing in the groove. And then we'll install the lower backup ring. Okay, so we've installed our two backup rings and our O-ring into the filter housing, but before we go any further, we want to use an inspection mirror and verify that we have those installed properly in the groove inside of the filter housing. And it looks like we do. So now we can continue on with the installation. So we're ready to install our filter bowl and our filter cartridge assembly. I have installed the cartridge into the bowl, and I've also pre-lubricated this mating surface on the bowl um, for the O-ring in the housing to make sure that the, the bowl goes on easier and that we don't uh, cut the O-ring as we install the filter bowl. I have uh, gone ahead and set the torque wrench uh, just below the uh, maximum run on torque as per the aircraft maintenance manual. We can use that to complete the installation of the filter bowl. A 
Okay, there we are. The filter bowl is completely seated. The torque wrench did not click so that I know I have not exceeded the uh, maximum run on torque for the AMM. And now we need to uh, reseat our ratchet lever. So we pull that down and release it so that it is in contact with the lock ring on the filter bowl. Now it's not necessary for the ratchet lever to be down in the groove between the teeth. It is acceptable per the aircraft maintenance manual for that ratchet lever to be up on top of a tooth. We just need to verify that it is actually in contact with that ring. It's critically important that once you have the filter bowl seated that you never tighten it or loosen it to try to get this ratchet lock aligned. Uh, it can be up on top of the teeth. That's perfectly acceptable for the aircraft maintenance manual. But once it's seated, we don't ever want to tighten it or loosen it back up for alignment with this lock. The last step will be to safety wire the drain plug that was torqued earlier in the procedure. That's it for main engine fuel filter replacement. See you next time.